What's good, gang? So as y'all saw, I was just packing up some hoodies that I was talking about um, that I need to ship out. They finally have came, so definitely shipping those bad boys out. I'm going to go pick up the pink joints right now. Like I said, by the time y'all seeing this, that stuff has already been shipped out, and the new tees, these tees will be out on my website on imhappypromise.com. Y'all gotta get you a T, man. Y'all gotta get you a T. We We're trying to blow the brand up. I'm gonna keep letting y'all know this. We are trying to blow the brand up and I need y'all to repost. Tell anybody y'all know about my brand, I'm Happy Promise. On Instagram is ihp.ihp.ihp. I need y'all to let the world know about my brand so we could all blow up, man, and be the biggest brand in the world. So these T's will be out by the time y'all see this video. So I need y'all to go cop you a tee. I got short sleeve white, short sleeve black, long sleeve white, long sleeve black. But that's neither here nor there. While I was packing up my um, hoodies and stuff to get shipped, someone knocked on my door. I'm like, damn, why they knocking on the door? Like, they the police, bro. Like, they was really not, they do, do, do. I'm like, bro, who the hell is that? Come to find out, it is some jeans that I got made. So I told y'all I'm getting into this cut and sew. So I've been like, you know what I'm saying getting some samples done and stuff like that to kind of try to test it out and see what I could do and see what I could work with and see what they can do for me. So I just decided like why not just open this on camera, which I, I have no I like they sent me pictures of like of them already complete, but I'm finally get to see them in person. So I actually I don't know what to expect. I know what I gave them, like the stuff that I gave them, but I don't know what to expect. So this is us opening this up together for the first time to see the jeans in person for the first time for my brand. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna drop them. Obviously they have to look good or I gotta see what I wanna change about them or whatever it is, but y'all getting exclusive, man. I told y'all, if they not following us on YouTube, they not rocking with us, man, then they missing out because I'm trying to fix this. Um, if they not rocking with us, then they missing out, bro. But let's see what these jeans talking about. All right, cool. Got it in a little plastic zip. Let's open this bad boy up and see what this is about. All right, so these the jeans. I got like a leather tab on the back of it. I don't know if y'all can really see it, but it says like IHP. I'm trying to see if y'all can see it. You can't really see it because the light is like weird. Hold on, I'm gonna try to see. You can see it, IHP on the leather tab that they sewed on here. Hold on, I'm gonna try to see. These the jeans. So, I gave her like a bunch of references on some jeans and I wanted like this wash on it, like this certain fade on them. And on the back, I really wanted like a fade. And these are some baggy jeans. I actually want to try these on because I feel like I'll get a better understanding of how they look. But I just want to kind of look at them. And... Let me just look, see if I... Like the way these bad boys look, because if I like the way these look, I might have to put these in full production and get them made for y'all, man. Just, just give me a sec so I can kind of look at them and see if I'm rocking them. Like I said, I'm gonna try them on in a second. Oops. All right, with the YKK zipper, y'all can't see YKK zipper right there. Also, look at the tag in the. And the pants, man. We even got the pants tag. Hold on, focus. We even got the IHP tag right there on the pants, man. We locked in. This is my first pair of jeans I ever did in my life, bro. Like, it don't seem like I'm as excited as I should be, but like, I'm geek. Like I said, I gotta try them on to really see how they fit, but I'm just ex expecting the wash and stuff. Cause the pictures that she sent me just, I don't like when they send pictures because the pictures just look totally different from the actual item when you finally get it. So they definitely like a good weight too. I told her that I wanted a certain weight on them. I'm learning so much making clothes, bro. Like I'm letting y'all know I'm learning so much making clothes. It's so many like terms that you need to know and information that you need to know to give them so they can understand what you want. Because if you don't know like some of the verbiage or any other like anything about it that you won't be able to get what you want so you kind of like I'm learning as I go so this is all a fun process like I told you I love clothes so much so like this is good for me to learn because this is stuff I'm gonna need to know later down the line because you gotta know what you need you know what I'm saying you gotta know what you need so you can better guide people and, and be a better leader you gotta know what you need so you can tell people what 
you need them to do to get the outcome that you need. So let me stop talking. I'm about to go try these joints on real fast. All right, look, yeah, I don't know if y'all can really get the good, the gist of how good these jeans are, but these literally are my first pair of jeans I ever made in my life. Don't mind the mess. I'm trying to just like find a decent way to show y'all these joints. I don't know if y'all can see them, but bruh. I did something with these. The wash, like the fade and everything, the bagginess in them. I really love how baggy they are. Oh my God, look at these. <laughs> y'all not getting the full gist. I might have to take a fit pick or something for y'all to really see, but like the heaviness of the jeans, the bagginess, everything is like how I want them to be. Like, this is so hard. And this is my first pair of jeans ever I've ever made in my life. I gave her measurements. I told her the quality of it. I gave her references for the like wash. This like faded out that I wanted. The color blue. We had to go through like two or three different versions because she made one version that I didn't like. And then she made another version that I didn't like. And then this was the final version that I got, bro. And I'm like so geeked up. Like, oh my God. You wanna see what they look like with some shoes? Yes. Oh yeah. They fit on the shoes just like I need them to. Hold on. Fold that. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we done found I think we done. I think we done. I think we done did what we did. Oh, yeah. I had to make me a sandwich. I got some chips. Remember my other video where I was eating salt and vinegar chips? I actually just DM'd them today and tried to see if they was like going to let us do like a a deal or something like that and they responded to me they was like what's your number now nah, what's your name and what's your email and we'll send it to our people so i don't know they responded so we never know if if y'all see me do a chip ad for this brand just know it's valid because i really like these chips this the this the barbecue flavor right here this the this the backyard barbecue joints just know if y'all see me do some chip ads or just know it's valid man i'm trying to tap in with brands i really could Turn y'all up, man. It's a lot of shit I like. If any brand is watching me right now, it's a lot of stuff I like, and I get real creative. I'm trying to let y'all know. Oh, here I go eating the chips again. This shit's good. Here I go. I wasn't even about to do it. It was about to act. I was about to stare off in the space and just start eating chips. I got to chill. These aren't so good. Um, but yeah, with them jeans, with those jeans, it's a few things I want to change on it. Like, it's some like minor details that I want to change on them jeans, but I'm really excited about those. So I got those cut and sewn. I got the army, that pink army hoodie cut and sewn. So I got two pieces down. I got another piece that I'm waiting to get delivered that's cut and sewn. So I've really been getting into this cut and sew world, y'all. So y'all going to be seeing all my ideas that I've been having. If I fuck with it, y'all going to see me drop it on my I'm Happy Promise page and we're going to be dropping so yeah man we trying to elevate i'm not playing when i say i want to elevate this brand like i really want my brand to go crazy bro i started spray painting hoodies bro like the first spray painted hoodie was like three three years ago is when i first spray painted on some hoodies and started selling them on my depop bro like and before that i was using acrylic 50 cent acrylic paint painting on some jeans like and then i before that I was um, drawing on Stan Smiths and all that other stuff. Like I said, y'all could see a lot of this stuff if y'all go back to my videos on YouTube. But yeah, man, like if I if I look back and see where like the progression that I've been going on and that's been going on and like seeing the type of motion that's been happening, bro. Like I really am like appreciative of life, bro. Like I really appreciate this whole journey that I'm on. So. And I'm just glad y'all are here to experience it with me. And I'm glad that I'm here to inspire y'all and give whatever I can give. And 10, 20 years from now, bro, it's going to be crazy. I swear it is.